to break things down to first principles. And this uh, first principles understanding, I think, is an absolute prerequisite when we want to solve foundational questions. I sometimes doubt whether physics is super well equipped for doing this. Uh, when I was young, I thought physics is about describing a physical reality, right? The world that we are in, in some level. And uh, now I see that physics is an art. It's the art of describing arbitrary systems using short algebraic equations. And the stuff that cannot be described with short algebraic equations yet, it's like chemistry, is ignored by physicists and less, uh, left to lesser minds. And only 8% of the uh, physicists uh, after their degree end up working in uh, physics in, in any traditional sense. The others work in process design, in uh, finance, in uh, healthcare, and many, many other uh, areas where you can apply the art of modeling arbitrary systems using short algebraic equations. And whenever that doesn't work, right, physicists are not worth very much. I've seen physicists trying to write programs and uh, they really, uh, many of them have this bias of trying to come up with algebra and geometry uh, where uh, calculus would be much better or where automata would be much better. And uh, nature doesn't care about this. Right? Nature is using whatever works and whatever can be discovered. And very often that is close to the toolkit of uh, this intellectual tradition of the physicists. But it's, I think it's sometimes helpful to see that uh, all these intellectual traditions that uh, our civilization has built start out with some foundational questions and then congregate around a certain set of methods. 